Hello everyone, so I'm going to give my top 5 non-HSW fastest cars in the game, so let's get started. In 5th place, this vehicle is the Princip Divesti 8, with the price of $1.8 million, and the top speed it can go is 131.7 miles per hour. Decent speed here for this vehicle. The acceleration is really impressive as well. The handling is fine. It's not the best, but it'll handle in general stuff. You know what I mean? As long as you don't go too speedy, of course. It should handle fine when turning corners. And the brakes, it is bad, to be honest. The brakes is probably the worst thing for this vehicle. Except for that, it's definitely a really nice looking vehicle and it performs really well in most situations. In 4th place, it goes to the Perfista 811 with the price of $1.1 million, so not too bad there. And top speed, it can go up to 132.5 miles per hour. Getting speedy now. The handling on this vehicle, you can get used to it instantly. It's a very usable handling. It's not the best on here, but it's definitely a usable one. Acceleration. It's not great. It'll definitely try and get you up to the top speed and not too long. You'll get you there. Brakes. It's not as bad as the one in fifth place, but it's still not good. It's not the greatest in the world here. But you can't complain too much, at least for the price of it. $1.1 million. So for top speed at least, I think you get your money's worth from that at least. In third place, it goes to the Grossi Itali RSX with the price of $2.6 million. And the top speed the vehicle can go up to is 135.2 miles per hour. The second best here for it, I'd say, is the acceleration for this vehicle. It does get you up to speed pretty quickly. It does have good handling on this vehicle. With the back wheels, it kind of gives you that slide feel sometimes. You like you're sliding a little bit on the back wheels, but it should still get you in control most of the time anyway. So it's still decent handling here for this vehicle. And brakes, these brakes are really good that it can be used even when it's going at top speeds. It'll brake really well. So this is definitely improvement from at least from the other cars that I showed so far. In second place, it goes to the Ocelot Farah with the price of $1.4 million. And the top speed it can go up to is 136 miles per hour. This is the best value for the performance here for this vehicle because it has really good acceleration, decent enough handling where maybe the back wheels might slide ish a little bit but should handle no problem most of the time good brakes it's not the best but it's definitely usable so yeah overall performance of best value for money here you know 1.4 million dollars so there's not much to complain at least of that money value here what you're getting it's a really good vehicle here and in first place goes to the bf weevil you need the custom version but we'll get to that in a sec at the base price it is 652 and 500 thousand dollars with the top speed it can go up to is 137.5 miles per hour. To get the custom version of the BF Weevil, you need to go to Benny's Original Motor Works. You need to go there, and when you do, you have to buy it to get that custom version, and that costs $980,000. About like a little bit over $1.5 million in total to get this. So make sure you have the custom version to get the top speed. So the rest of the performance on this vehicle, the second best thing is the acceleration. It does get you up to speed and the top speed not long amount of time. So this definitely great for that. But anything else like the handling, brakes, it is terrible. Especially the handling, that's just terrible. As long as you don't turn at all, or at least that little at most, if you need to turn and you need know, to use those brakes, yeah, you're not gonna have a fun time using it with or without the spoiler. Maybe it could be a bit easier without the spoiler because it makes you slide a little bit. So you could be, be doing like a little bit of drifting kind of ish kind of style. So if, you, if you're good at drifting, maybe this could be a bit easier with the handling. But if you're not good with the drifting, then yeah, this is going to be a big problem. At least on, you know, acceleration and top speed it is definitely a great performer. I think actually the best out of the top five. At least when it comes to speed, it's the best. But when it comes to turning and all that, and if you're ever going to use it in a race somehow, I would not definitely look at other vehicles but hey you can use it in free mode if you want that top speed and get to you to a to b really quickly maybe but that'll be it hope this top five helped you in any way and if it did make sure to give this video a like if you're new here maybe subscribe is up to you check out this playlist here click on it scroll through and there might be something there if not thank you for watching this video everyone